Look at this picture of a wolf pack in Canada, taken by accident. It's a chilling reminder of how smart wolves can be. This is a typical wolf pack, 25 wolves in total. And this formation clearly shows the organization of the pack. Many people think that the one at the front of the line must be the leader of the pack. In fact, it's not. These three wolves at the front are the first echelon of the pack. They are the old and sick wolves of the pack. The old wolves are the most experienced in the pack, letting them go to the front of the pack. One is to prevent them from falling behind, and the other is to control the direction of the group, to control the speed and rhythm of the whole pack. The five wolves, following closely behind, are the most elite and strongest wolves in the pack. In case the wolves are attacked, they will protect the front flank in time, responsible for the safety of the whole pack. Further back, the largest group is the third echelon. They are the women and children of the pack, the future of the pack. They are in the center of the line, protected by the front and rear echelons, followed by the fourth echelon. Like the second echelon, they are the strongest and most powerful wolves, protecting the rear flank of the pack, and at the end, there is a lone wolf who walks alone, and he is the leader of the pack, the king, to make sure that no wolf is left behind, and to keep an eye on the whole pack, and cover a retreat if there is any danger. So wolves are really something. On the other hand, human beings. The leader usually walks in the front, the weak are at the back. Some companies talk about wolf culture, but do they really know wolves?